Welcome everybody, this is Dr. Paul and today we're going to discuss the pupillary light reflex. And the purpose of this reflex is to constrict the pupil whenever excess light is shined into the eye. Okay, now the fibers that are going to mediate this constriction are parasympathetic fibers. So let's run through the exact pathway whereby we get constriction of the pupil. And it's very straightforward and it's something you definitely need to know for the exam. So step one, what happens is, here's our sun, and increased light. So let's say a patient's going to stand outside in a bright sunny day. So excess light hits the eye. Now the first thing that happens is this sig sends a signal down the optic nerve, which we see here, all the way to the pretectal nucleus. Okay, In moving to the pretectal nucleus, it's going to bypass the lateral geniculate nucleus. Now from the pretectal nucleus, we're going to get axons sent to both the right side and the left side edinger westfall nuclei. Then from our edinger westfall nuclei, we have the parasympathetic oculomotor nerve fibers. They're going to run to our ciliary ganglion, which we see here. From our ciliary ganglion, we have short ciliary nerves that are then going to go and innervate the constrictor muscles of the iris. We call this the iris sphincter pupillae. These muscles may also be known as circular fibers of the eye or circular muscles of the eye. And when we stimulate these constrictor muscles of the iris, it leads to constriction of the pupil. Okay, so the eyes adjust to the increase of light that we have in our environment. Now keep in mind, this entire process is a parasympathetic process. And on the other end of the spectrum, if we have a sympathetic process, that's going to lead to pupillary dilation. And what happens is we stimulate the iris dilator muscles, which contract to, to cause iris dilation and subsequent pupillary dilation. And as I mentioned, this action is stimulated by the sympathetic nervous system, which will release norepinephrine and stimulate the alpha-1 agonist within that muscle. And now you have a rock-solid understanding of the pupillary light reflex.